Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a dollar store haul with you. I went to visit my mother and there is a new dollar store that just opened up down the street from her house. It was called Dollar Land. Had never been. We don't really have those around here. We just have the regular old dollar trees. So I wanted to run in, see what they had, and I'm just going to share my little haul with you. The first thing I picked up as soon as I walked in the store were these little divided plastic trays. They come two in a pack and they're kind of deep. So they're not narrow um, like the regular ones that we find at the dollar store and they are separated. We're going to use these to start meal planning for the week. And they're kind of sturdy. Can you hear that? They're kind of sturdy. They're not that flimsy material that I have seen in other dollar stores. And they do come with a lid. And the lid is really secure. I did open one in the dollar store because I wanted to make sure they were going to be, you know, somewhat of good quality. But they're really sturdy. So, like I said, they come two in a pack, and I picked up three, so we have a total of six. So that was that. I picked up this cute little holder that I'm going to put in the shower, which is going to house the razors, because there is nothing worse than getting a shower and realizing there is a razor that has just fallen off the side of the tub, and now you have to fish around for it. So this is going to house all the razors in the bathtub or in the shower. Then I picked up a couple of these organizers, which I'm sure everyone has seen. They're fabric organizers. And the reason I fell in love with them is because they are gray and black. Love those colors. My signature colors. So I am getting ready to redo our linen closet. And I was trying to find a couple baskets to put in there. So when I found these, had to buy them. So this one is the smaller of the two. This is nine by nine by eight. So these will be perfect for the smaller shelves in our linen closet. And I picked up one, two, three, four, five. I picked up six of them because you can never have enough baskets. Even if I don't use them in that closet, I'll find someplace else for them. So I picked up those. Then I also picked up the same fabric uh, baskets, but in the larger size. This is the largest one they had, and these are 10 and a half by 11. So these I think will hold nicely some of the sheets that we have for our bed. And again, I picked up six of them because you can always use a good basket. Then for the same closet, I picked up these light switches, which run off of two AAA batteries. The linen closet is really dark. And even though there's a light right outside the closet, it always seems a little dim in there. So I thought I would shed some light on the situation and picked up two of these that I'm going to mount on the inside of the closet on either side. That way we can always see what we're reaching for. I don't know. Will it work? I don't know. We'll find out. But for a dollar, you couldn't get wrong. I also picked up a new, oh, I threw it, sorry. I picked up a new eyeglass case for my reading glasses that I always, always, always lose in my purse. There have been times I thought, oh, I forgot them at home and it's just struggled only to find out, no, they were in my bag, but just all the way at the bottom. My purse is like Mary Poppins bag. Once things go in, it's like never ending, can never find the, find the bottom of it, but hopefully this will help. We'll see. They also had these cute little birdies which I have seen at Hobby Lobby for, I think with the last time I was in there, they were like $3, but these were a dollar. And look how cute they are. So adorable. So I picked up two 
and I'm going to use these in my coffee station which if you've been a part of my channel for a while you'll remember I did a St. Patrick's Day beverage center and now that St. Patrick's Day is over I thought I was going to take the beverage center down but my family seems to like it so I'm just going to switch out some of the decorations make it more springy and Easter like so I picked up these two cute little birds and they also had this ceramic egg which it's white, it's plain, it's an egg. It's got this cute little design on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it was super cute. For a dollar, it was coming home with me. I also found this cute little Easter sign, which again, I'm going to use in my beverage station where I had the shamrock hung up. I'm just going to hang up this cute little sign. Don't mind Bubba, apparently he's choking on something right now. So I got that. Then I also picked up this cute little bunny that I'm going to hang on our kitchen door. The kitchen door is the one that we always come in and leave the house through. All of my neighbors know to come in through the kitchen door. If anyone ever rings the front doorbell, we know that they're not here for a friendly visit. So instead of a wreath, I thought I would do this cute little bunny and he had a pink little bow, which I thought was adorable. So he will go on the door. I also picked up three packs of these window stickers, which again will go on the door surrounding my cute little bunny. And any extras that I have, I will put on our refrigerator door. I do have little nieces and nephews that come over and they always love to run to the refrigerator door to see what's hanging up there. So I picked up three different designs. This one's just too cute. So they will go on the refrigerator. And lastly, I picked up two more packages of these little tiny plastic containers. Um, there are 10 and they're mini containers. If, again, you watched my kitchen cabinet reorganization, I use these to put all of my spices in. These will hold the perfect amount of those little McCormick season bottles. That whole bottle, if you open it up and pour it right in here, fits perfectly. And once you put a label on it and put it in your cabinet, everything has that uniformed look to it, which to me, it's like a little slice of heaven. Uh, but my aunt came over and saw how I had organized all of my spices with these little with these little containers, and she wants me to do the same now to her house. So I picked up two little uh, packages so I could go do her kitchen cabinets. And that is it. That was everything I got. To me, it was a huge hit. I may have to make a few more trips back. There were so many things in there that I fell in love with and I was really tempted to just fill my cart, but I have to do things a little bit at a time. So if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that little red subscribe button. Yeah, right there in the corner. Hit that to become a part of my YouTube family. I would greatly love to have you. And until then, I hope you all have an amazing day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.